So in all my work, I've been very concerned with public representations. In the book, for instance, I talk about think tanks, and I talk about museums, and I talk about the media, um, advertising, right? Along many other spaces that affect representations. And the argument that I try to make is that um, whereas this institutions are central in creating meaning and knowledges and how we understand particular constituencies. When minorities are concerned, when Latinos are concerned, they take even uh, more importance because of the scarcity of representations um, that reach the mainstream about Latinos. And the paradigm um, that I found from that dominant representation of Latinos as primarily undocumented, crime reading, poor, um, crime and, and so forth to representations that highlight how my um, Latinos are becoming upper mobile or middle class or um, have conservative values or family oriented or great consumers or um, representations that basically um, compensate and, and provide a more sanitized representation of Latinos as the paramount Americans. In other words, Latinos are more American than the Americans. And there's nothing really to fear about Latinos because in fact, they generate the morality of, of, of American society. And that's why I um, use the term Latino spin to sort of highlight this kind of more clean, sanitized um, representations that are becoming more attendant um, and I ask, why are they becoming attendant? And, and what, what service, uh, you know, what purpose do they service? And what are the implications of this positive spin, right? Um, because we all like to hear that story. That's a story that, you know, we all want to hear that Latinos are moving up, that they're good Americans, that they're patriotic, that they're consumers and so forth. But that's, um, I highlight Latino spin to sort of, um, underscore um, the, the manufactured aspect of those representations, the fact that they really do not tell the entire story, the fact that they are being produced with, uh, by particular institutions for particular interests, and uh, they're not really accurate, and they veil more than they disclosed about the status of Latinos in contemporary society. When I talk about Latinos and whiteness, I'm not really referring to um, you know, whiteness as Latinos being regarded as whites, because that's just an element, you know, in terms of how Latinos identify or are identified by others, right? Uh, but rather about the general whitewashing of all things that are Latino, that I think ref to me refers more to a class project, a project of really um, the linking uh, Latino uh, from sort of sanitizing Latino for, for more consumability so that it's easier or more um, uh, acceptable, right, in particular spaces. So that's why I, it's important to look at different uh, representations in, in, in particular spaces. And, I, you know, what that means is that when you think about um, institutions like museums or urban planning, right, or, or other, uh, or politics, right, there the matter, the whitewashing of Latinos is not so much about whether Latinos are categorized right, as white or not, but rather the kind of cleansing of Latinidad and Latino images and representations so that they could be more consumable and more marketed and more acceptable by mainstream society. So I think that that's generalized, the general aspect of, of whitewashing, which to me is a project that is very class-based.